Welcome back guys. In this lesson, we will talk about implementing multiple pixels on a page. Right now, in the earlier lessons, we discussed about how to implement a pixel and the importance of implementing a pixel. Now I'm going to talk about implementing multiple pixels. Now, the first question is why do you even implement multiple pixels? There might be a certain situation in your company wherein two people want to track the behavior of the people on your site. So as a marketing agency, right, I want to track whoever is coming to your site and I want to track marketing related data. Or there might be a parent company that my company belongs to. Those people want to track only the sales volume and the conversion numbers or the, or, or, or the, or the revenue that you're making from your Facebook ads campaigns, right? So both of them want to track. The only solution that is available for you is give my pixel access to them. But when I give my pixel access to them, I am not just tracking revenue metrics. I'm tracking a lot of other marketing related data and the user activity through the pixels and sending them over to Facebook. So when I give them access to my pixel, they'll probably be able to see this as well. But I don't want my parent company to look at the marketing strategy and the other data collect. collect. I want them to only be concerned about the revenue. So for that, what I do, if I share my pixel with them, it will not work. So I have to take their pixel and put their pixel on my site. So when I put my pixel on my site and their pixel on my site, two pixels will load on my site. But the problem is when both pixels load, the data that you're trying to send will go to both pixels. So how are you going to restrict some data to some pixels and other data to other pixels? Second scenario, you might be a marketing, you know, you, you might have an in-house team who, you know, who can, you know, run your Facebook campaigns. So you want to put your own pixel, but for some reasons you want to outsource a part of your work to an agency. That means another business manager. So you, you can't give access of your pixel to those people because they belong to another agency, right? So what you can do is you can ask them to give their pixel to you and you put their pixel on the site and only send certain related data, right? What you want to give them access to, right? You can put their pixel also. So the question is multiple pixels are needed in various scenarios, but the question is how do I even implement them? So join me as I take you through in this video and I show you live on my website, right? So what I'm going to do is first, Remember, we have the pixel. So what I'm going to do is I already have the pixel, which is all pages. So I have to first pause them. But even before I pause them, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the pixel code. You see what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the pixel code, which I have, right? So then I'm going to pause this and all the other pixel codes because I don't want the pixel to show me an error or simple terms what what I can do is I can simply pause all the tags right give me one moment I'm pausing all the tags that are already on my site and I'm going to start afresh right so I'm creating a new tag now so I'm creating a new tag so I'm creating custom HTML Facebook already gave me the code. Now see, remember we discussed heavily about you know this auto config as well. So I can say yeah, auto config. I want to remove the auto config. You can add for both the pixels. I already shared what this uh, you know thing will do. Whenever pixel loads, it will load an external JavaScript library called FB. Once you can go check in the network section when you load my page, right? Or in fact any page where the pixel is deployed. So this function is initializing the pixel. So I don't want to initialize one pixel. There's an also another pixel which I want to paste. So I have the other pixel also with me. This is the second pixel and this pixel also I want to initialize. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the same thing in it. Right. So here what I'm trying to do is I'm initializing two pixels. Right. So whenever pixel loads, both the pixels will be initialized. And when both the pixels are initialized and after the pixels are initialized, if you call this FBQ track page view, this page view event will be sent to both the pixels both the pixels why why it will send to both the pixels because both the pixels are initialized once the pixel is initialized after that you send any event fbq function call it will send that event to both of them now i want to send page to both of them at the same time i want to send some data to one pixel another data to one pixel so how i'm going to do that you see so what i'm going to do here i'm going to put this to fire on all pages i'm going to put this to fire on all okay okay give me I'll give it name as multiple pixels all pages. There are some more exciting videos coming up like data layers and how you can really work with the data layer, right? 
in my next coming videos so this is one thing so what i'm going to now do is i want to send a standard event fb purchase event fb purchase event i want to send and this purchase event i want to send to first pixel first pixel so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to because the pixel is already initialized so i'm going to write fbq generally use the syntax track but here i'm sending purchase event to first pixel and i will create another custom event that i want to send to another pixel that means two actions that people do one action i want to send to one pixel the other action i want to send to other pixel one is a standard event second one is a custom event for standard event facebook says you you have to use the syntax called track single track single then put the the what do you say the the pixel id and the name of the event which i call it as purchase right and this i want to fire only when people go to my application submission page application submission trigger yeah i think one moment so i created one purchase event trigger already and this event trigger is when page URL matches major market application submitted. That means whenever people go to my website, whenever people go to my website and fill this application form, they go to one thank you page called application submitted. So whenever people go to that particular page, the confirmation page, I want to fire an event called purchase, right? That is why I said, uh, you see the condition here, track single remember track single is a syntax and then uh, pixel id and purchase so this purchase event is going to be sent to this particular id now remember both the pixels are initialized but i don't want this purchase event to go to both pixels i want this purchase event only to go to the first pixel that is why i'm saying track single why i'm using track single because this purchase is a standard event had it been a custom event instead of track single we use something called track single custom so whenever you want to send custom events to another pixel you use track single custom whenever you want to send standard event you always use the syntax called track single right provided and this is only applicable if you're using multiple pixels else you simply use track or track custom right and here remember this part purchase should fire only after the pixels are initialized so in gtm there's a small feature in gtm there's a small feature called tag sequency And I say this tag should fire only after the multiple pixels are initialized. So I want to simply go and find that tag which says multiple pixels initialized. Yeah, multiple pixels, right? Because this FBQ standard event or this custom event will only fire after the pixel is initialized. Now I'm going to create one more tag. I'm going to create one more tag. Here I'm going to send a custom event. FBQ instead of track here you use track single custom and then give the name of the pixel I copied the name of the pixel here so that I can use it for and the name of the I'll, I'll give something called scroll depth the name of the event I'll give is scroll depth right this is the name of the event and this event this is a custom event and because it's a custom event I'm using the syntax called a track single custom you see track single custom and this is the pixel id so i want this event to go this event to fire remember after the pixel is initialized because if you fire before the pixel is initialized this tag will not fire and data will not be sent to facebook endpoint servers so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the same thing here saying multiple where is it Yeah, here we go sorry right and here i will create one trigger called i can create one trigger called i'm checking if i already have a trigger yeah 
see i have created one trigger i want to show you that trigger as well i created this trigger already and this will only fire when people not just go to the application submission page but scroll the complete 100 percent so whenever people scroll 100 percent i've created a scroll depth trigger gave 100 percent and this has to fire on the applicant submitted page you see the same url i've used for firing the purchase tag Oh, uh, I'll give the name as you give a proper name. I'm just giving you multiple pixels. I quickly want to go check this again. Purchase event. I want to check this trigger even before I make it live. Contents, yeah. Now see, what I'm going to do now is, first thing, I created the tag, which will initialize both the pixels. Then I created one separate tag for standard event purchase, but sending only to one pixel using the syntax tag single. And then I created one more tag that will fire a custom event when people scroll down the 100% of the applicant submission page and that custom event I want to send to the second pixel. So the syntax is track single custom, second pixel ID and the name of the custom event. So here I click on preview. I already know the URL name so I'm simply going to open that URL so I can copy it. This is the URL. You see it's asking me to enter the URL. Yeah, the URL is already there. So I click on start. It's going to open the site and it's going to take me to the debug mode. Now see, so when people go to this page, it goes to the tag assistant, see the debug. When people go to the particular page, what will happen? The purchase event will fire. And this purchase event will fire only to the first pixel. Remember, you see multiple. So whenever page loaded, multiple pixels were fired. This initialized the pixel and this initialized the pixel, both the pixels. But the purchase event is fired only on this particular page. Right now you see, come to the website. You see pixel is fired to both of them, but purchase is only fired for first pixel. But there should be another custom event that should fire for second pixel, right? See, the purchase is not fired for second pixel. It is only fired for first pixel. But I want to fire another event called custom event, which should fire to second pixel. And that will happen when you scroll down 100% because the trigger that I've kept is 100% scroll depth. Now see, when I go here, you'll find another thing called scroll depth. And this is only going for second pixel since it's a custom event. Purchase is going to first pixel. Scroll depth is going to second pixel. So this way, you have to initialize the pixel. And when you initialize the pixel, you send page view to both the pixels. You see page view went for both the pixels. But the data that you can restrict and that restriction can happen using the syntaxes track single with a pixel ID and name of the standard event, track single custom, name, name uh, number of the pixel, the pixel ID and the standard event custom name. So this is how you implement and you can really, really send whatever kind of data you want to multiple pixels and you know you can um, you know, store them in different pixel or different ads managers. Now, I have heard from multiple people, they always say I want to put both the pixels, I want to send all the data to both the pixels because they say if one pixel is suspended for whatever reasons, I still have the access to other pixels. But I somehow don't agree with them because if you are doing anything which Facebook thinks is wrong, no matter how much ever you do it, it is bound to get suspended in future right so this is how you implement multiple pixels on the site and uh, yeah so you can please follow me watch this video again and please follow this approach thank you and i will see you in the next video thank you